Ladies and gentlemen, I have a smile on my face and a little bit of pep in my step because I bring you good news as if I were the first black Santa Claus. We all understand social media is a hellscape. It's full of people desperate for engagement and entertainment and interactions because they don't get it at home. They're desperate for likes, views, shares, follows, all these things. And some people would do the dumbest things imaginable just for that little bit of crumb of attention. We all remember that mom influencer that thought it would be a great idea idea to lie and accuse two random individuals of trying to kidnap children. Monday of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap, um, which is such a weird thing to even vocalize, um, but it happened. Um, and I want to share that story with you in an effort to raise awareness as to what signs to look for um, and to just encourage parents to be more aware of their surroundings and what is going on around them. Um, I think right now we are so distracted by um, everything that's going on in the world that we are kind of um, have our guards up so much about um, masks and wanting to keep our children safe that way that we're forgetting the most important way to keep them safe and that is with us um, and to not have them taken. So I'm going to share a story um, in an effort to raise that awareness but it's I'm not ready. I This is hard for me. I'm not ready to share this story but I, I know it's important and I would rather be uncomfortable um, and awkward the, and get the message out sooner than wait until I feel composed um because i don't know if i'll ever be composed talking about this um so here we go on monday like i said my children were the um targets of attempted kidnap we went to michael's craft store just to run a few errands um get some things to make some homemade gifts very quick trip i have not taken my children out a lot as of late um but this was just a con a situation where we just needed to run this errand and I thought I came prepared I brought the double stroller um, thinking I'd just throw them in cover them up put the uh, cover on top and just walk through the store quickly grab our stuff and go I only had two items I needed to grab um, and then I did a target pickup so that was the only time we were getting out of the car um, so we get to Michael's I park as far away as possible um, in an effort to not inconvenience others with our big stroller. That's what I, that was always my go-to. Whenever I brought the double stroller, I'd park far away so that people wouldn't um, be frustrated with me taking forever getting the stroller in and out. Um, that is the first thing that from this day forward I will be doing differently um, if I ever choose to bring my kids out again. And we all said at the time, the story was shocking, yet it didn't make a lick of sense, especially when this dumbass mom influencer was telling a different story to the police, thinking no one was gonna fact check any of the stories that were being told, combine them together, and realize none of it made absolutely sense. And we saw the developments, we saw this ugly, weird, grotesque, inhumane human being get convicted of trying to falsify a bunch of information. A popular social media influencer who falsely accused a couple of trying to kidnap her children now convicted of lying about the whole ordeal. Monday of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap. 31-year-old Katie Sorensen, a mom influencer who posted beauty and motherhood advice, uploaded this video that was viewed more than 4 million times. And I want to share that story with you in an effort to raise awareness as to what signs to look for. Falsely claiming that strangers tried to kidnap her two young children on December 7, 2020, outside the Petaluma, California Michael's store. The Sonoma County DA's office says the videos were posted about a week after Sorensen reported the supposed kidnapping attempt to police. In the video, Sorensen described a number of details about the alleged incident that hadn't been disclosed to police. The accused couple, Sadie and Eddie Martinez, say they actually recognize themselves in this photo and came forward to deny Sorensen's claims. She wanted a stronger following. She was looking for, you know, content for her fame and her her income um, and at our expense. Sorensen's attorney maintains his client did not lie to police. She misperceived and misunderstood a series of random events which were occurring around her and made a honest report to the police on December 7th. Her attorney adding that it was when Sorensen reviewed the evidence that she realized she was wrong. I don't think she had any understanding of how this would spread and the impact it would cause. 
But some legal experts say this verdict is about accountability. This is a woman who lied for clicks at the expense of a couple in California who wrongly accused them of a very serious crime. And I am glad to tell you that for 90 days, Big Frida is going to be playing with this mom influencer. And you can say it's not enough time. You could say the dumb woman deserves longer. You could say all of that. And that is something that is going to be of your opinion. I think it is perfectly acceptable for this person to face this punishment. I would request longer just because, but I am happy that this person who decided to falsify information and frame two random people of trying to kidnap children is facing a punishment at all. Because in the landscape of a bunch of people doing things for attention, notoriety, clout, we don't really see a lot of people face a punishment. So I'm taking my chips, I'm eating them softly, and I'm going to enjoy knowing that I'm going to get a lot of love notes from Big Frida over these next 90 days, letting me know that she is absolutely terrible terrorizing this mom influencer because guess what i don't feel bad for somebody who was willingly able to frame people for kidnapping children sorry find sympathy some fucking place else i will however give this pathetic mom influencer a little bit of props because just like britney griner somehow this weird dumb mom influencer will be in jail longer than a grown ass man who wanted to fake a hate crime just because he wanted a subway sandwich up his ass and above all i fought the back <laughs> I'm an advocate. I respect too much the people who I am now one of those people mm -hmm. who have been attacked in any way. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. It feels like if I had said it was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more, a lot more. And that says a lot about the place that we are in our country right now. The fact that we have these fear mongrels, these people that are trying to separate us and it's just not okay. Oh, man. With the look at him. Assumption what that he was going on time because he was there on time. But this is Jesse Smollett surrounded by cameras here. His 92 year old grandmother. We were also told that his mother and siblings would be. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Happy White History Month. Happy July 4th. Don't be blowing fireworks past July 4th or I will be very upset. Goodbye.